and today is Tuesday, July 31st. The last, very last day of July already. Boy, where does the time go? Anyways, as you can see, I got our new Holland TR98 combine out of the shed. Um, we're gonna try and hopefully start combining oats this week. Um, we have to clean this thing up and uh, and uh, get it ready to go. So um, that's what I'm in the process of doing here. I decided I'd um, do that. We didn't get it cleaned out last fall, so it uh, so it uh, needs to be uh, cleaned out and everything. And and uh, should have gotten it done, but I didn't. Ran out of time last fall. So, and um, I need to replace this belt. It runs the straw chopper. Um, it kind of split, the rib split in here. So, um, I just got to take another belt off here to get to it. And it's all, you know, it's still set up for corn and everything. So, um, I got to go through it and, and uh, put... Uh, Get it switched over for small grain. Um, yeah, we still have some corn in here. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. We should have gotten this done last fall, but like I say, we ran out of time last fall before it got really cold. And so, um, I'm just gonna clean it off here. And, uh, and, uh, ugh. Yeah, so everything's got to be switched over from from corn to uh, small grain. Um, anybody that has one of these New Holland twin rotor combines, especially like this age, this is a 1998 model. Um, yes, I was gonna try to do a, an equipment tour and talk about it, but I just I haven't had time to, to get to it. We have a lot of equipment to cover on here, so I just haven't had time to do that equipment tour um, yet. Uh, maybe when we get done with um, oats, harvesting small grain here, I'll, maybe we'll have some uh, free time sometime after. I do plan to get to it, so. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is the what we got to do. Everything's got to be switched over. I'm trying to think of everything on here that's got to be switched over. Um, obviously, I don't know, these things here, you got to switch these pulleys back here. And this thing's got to be moved up. The knives. Um, yeah, the drum. I don't know. These things have these. Um, anybody, like I say, that's familiar with these TR98s or these TR combines of this age group, TR99, 98, 97. These things have these stone ejection rolls in there. I mean, sometimes I think about leaving it up, but because you got to put it up for corn. But. I don't know if you ever run a rock in there and you run a rock in the rotor or something and it dings around and causes the fire I don't know I, I I don't know maybe it was a bad design for New Holland but I do like these twin rotors though um, the rotors how you get to the rotors on these um, you get these are the covers there's two on each side um, I'm able to show you later when I get those covers off because I, I gotta switch it over to small grain in there I got to put the wires in there for small grain. Um, it's just that the, the 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 grates. I mean, I'm sure in the I don't know how it is in the newer New Hollands, but I'm sure on the newer New Holland combines, you can remove the whole. There's a grate for small grain and a grate for corn and soybeans, and you slip them out, and they're probably faster. But um, this is a big step up combine for us because we bought this two years ago. Uh, we traded in our pole type. We used to have a pole type. If you look back on some of my older videos, you'll see that we used to have a pole type. We traded it in precisely because it was just getting to the point where it was too impractical to use anymore for operation. Um, when you combine corn, we always had to borrow um, another combine from our cousins to open up the field. You know, a self-propelled combine, and it was always a hassle. And we started growing beans. Anytime you had to. Um, you know, we could have bought a bean head for our pole type, but it would only be 12 feet wide, and I'm not going to go out and combine beans with a 12 foot wide head. I mean, 
granted that pole type combine yeah i really liked the thing it was unique and everything but it was just too impractical for us to keep using so uh, we wanted to get a rotary combine but we didn't want to you know new holland they have a lot of experience making rotary combines they've been making them since 1974 john Deere's only been making them since 2000 so i trust new holland they have a lot of experience with rotaries so obviously we did some research about them so and i'm pleased with them they're maybe not as nice as far as comforts and conveniences as the john deere's but the grain quality um i really like the grain quality on here i wouldn't i wouldn't trade this for a john deere i wouldn't matter of fact i wouldn't go back to a john deere combine ever again nope i would take a case of h axial flow combine before i'd ever take a john deere um, nope not ever going back to john deere combine not in our plans anything we'll update to a newer new holland someday which we'd like to do but this is like i say this yeah this combine's 20 years old but our other combine was it was 40 years old so <laughs> but yeah anyways i'm gonna get to working on this thing and i'll show you some other stuff here later so um i guess i'll get back to you okay everybody i'm back again um i did some blowing on the combine and uh yeah i don't know if you could see in here real well but uh um anyways we got yeah that's what the inside of the combine looks like the rotors um yeah it's evening um we ended up moving some equipment around in the shed so we had to get the swather out so we could swath oats down and stuff so time kind of got away from us so um i didn't end up getting the everything done that i wanted to get done on here but i, I got it blow and i blew off some i didn't get anything adjusted but um yeah these are the the things here that you pull out for the um to get to get to the rotors and stuff i guess you can't see it's too dark there but yeah so um yeah so anyways we got to get uh work at this tomorrow we just had to like i say move shuffle some equipment around that's something the gravity box we had to take out of the shed we got to get this ready it still has the drill fill on it from when we seeded oats this spring so we got to get that off too but so yeah anyways i don't know looks like there might be a chance of rain for tonight so so anyways i'll have to work at it again tomorrow tomorrow but at least we got the equipment all moved around in the shed out there so um we get the swath or maybe i'll get some um video shots of the swather tomorrow that we use to swath the oats down with so yeah i i gotta finish i gotta blow out the radiator yet and clean off the engine and then get everything adjusted yet but i gotta start at it and i got some stuff cleaned off and anyways so um but yeah so anyways i think that's gonna be it for this video um if you like it give it a thumbs up if you have any questions drop a question down in the comment section and um <clears throat> thanks for watching and uh check me out on instagram and twitter at organic dairyman <clears throat> and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet just pound it and hit it and get it done with so anyways um i guess that's everything so i'll catch you later